how to stream using one monitor and still see your chat. And I'm not saying use your phone. We're just using our computer. My name is Tree and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, no harder. So we're gonna go to this website. I will leave the link down below in the description where we can download this tool. Transparent Twitch Chat Overlay, it's called. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just scroll down until we see installation and usage. And we're gonna click on this GitHub link. And here we see the newest version as for this video is 1.0.4. We're gonna scroll down to the assets and here we're gonna download Twitch Chat Overlay Setup dot x now we're gonna click on it and we're gonna run it anyway then this window will pop up for us we're gonna click on this button right here and we're gonna go to settings here we're gonna fill in our own username so what is our username my username on twitch is truey so i'm gonna write down truey here you can say if you want to see whenever people redeem points on twitch i like to see that so i'm gonna click on that and then you need to connect your twitch if you do not want to see this you can not do this and you don't have to connect your twitch but let's just be thorough and connect our twitch connect it will open in our browser here and we need to authorize it and now it says that i'm connected it will expire around every 60 days so you need to reconnect it every 60 days I'm gonna go back to the chat tab here and now it says that Twitch is connected. What we can also do is we can have the chat text fade out whenever it's been there for a while. If we click this we get another option and that's like how long does it take before the chat fades out. So now the chat time is 120 seconds. If a message has been in the chat for 120 seconds it will fade out it will be become invisible so if you do have your chat here this will become the chat window you have like 10 messages and message 10 is here for a long time it will become nine messages a plus is that your chat will not be cluttered a minus might be that your chat can become empty if you do not like an empty chat you can leave this out and your chat will always look full however you can also prefer that it will become empty whenever nobody is speaking so it will trigger you whenever you see a message it will be easier to see whenever something new pops up you can also open the chat filter settings right here you can filter names block names and words right here you can play sound every time somebody says something but I would definitely not recommend this because this is super, super annoying. So do not do this, okay? Please do not turn this on. Team, better Twitch TV, chat, black, dark, light, dark, light. I would definitely recommend turning on better Twitch TV because this is an extension that will allow you to view certain emotes. So there is emotes like CACW that aren't on Twitch that people are still using. You will be able to see them whenever you use one of the better Twitch TV teams. We click on save and now you can see that it's actually connecting to my chat. If you want to do some more settings, we go back to the settings. We can also go to the other settings like general here. We can auto hide the borders, allow interactions when the borders are showing. So then we can interact with the chat window. Check for the updates. So if they update this tool, you're going to get an updated version. Some more options, but I think the best ones are right here, which is toggle the borderless hotkey right here toggle interactable hotkey and bring to top hotkey so these are the hotkeys that you can change here if you want to if you are being stubborn and you use the sounds anyway this is where you can change the volume of it and also the device the sounds are playing on so you can have them on not the default so for example if you use the wave link like i am you can have them on aux 2 and then you can send them to only your headphones and not send them to your stream output and this way your stream isn't hearing them, but you are hearing them. You can also do this if you're using voice meter banana, for example, or anything else that will allow you to split your audio like that, which is, is a little bit more advanced. I'm definitely not going to go in that right now. In the meanwhile, we see the chat disappear again because it has been 120 seconds. It's going to clear it out. About, this is just a bit about the creator of this tool. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. It's going to load back in. It's going to check the settings once again. And I'm going to go to my chat right here. I'm gonna type something, hello. And you can see it comes into my chat box. It doesn't really matter what I type, but it becomes in my chat box right here. And if we go to Steam and we're gonna open Overwatch, for example, we can see that we can still see the chat. However, we can move this chat around and we probably wanna lock it in place somewhere. Find a place that it's not in the way for your game. So for Overwatch, it would probably be here in the top left. And to lock it in place, we need to press Ctrl Alt F9. Now it's locked in place. Ctrl Alt F9. If you forgot about these shortcuts, they are also 
the ones that you can change yourself. So now our chat is in here, and after 120 seconds, these things will go away, remember? We can't interact with them. If you want to interact with it again, we do Alt-Tab until we're back at this, and then we can do Ctrl-Alt-F9, and then we're back in it. And then Ctrl-Alt-F9, and then it's back locked in. Uh, the only downside is the game options. The game itself needs to be in borderless windowed or windowed mode. It cannot be in full screen because you do not see the chat then. If you have your games on full screen, you c you cannot use this tool because it, the tool will not be overlaid on the game, but will be displayed behind the game. Basically, your game will your game will take up the full screen instead of like having a tool be laid over it. Let me write some more things down. So yeah, now we can see these things coming in right here on our Overwatch. And we could just be playing and we can reading the chat like this. And I could do like a highlighted message that comes in as well. And I could do a posture check and it will say that I redeemed the posture check right here. And I could also see, I need to see it straight. And if you have OBS right here and you want to capture your game, what you can do is you can use either game capture or window capture to capture your game and this way your chat will not be captured so if you want your chat to not be captured use game capture or window capture if you want your chat to be captured with your gameplay you can use desktop capture uh, let's see where it is desktop capture and this way it captures your whole screen so it will also capture this chat window so this is an easy way to overlay your chat over your one monitor and see your chat while streaming on just one monitor i'm currently doing a series on how to become a successful Twitch streamer. So I definitely recommend watching that series right now. It's up here. So go watch it. And there's some other videos right here that you should watch as well. And don't forget to subscribe to so not miss anything.